What is going on everybody? It's King Touch Pro and welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. Where did my clapper go? Anyways, in today's video, I want to show you this really cool music video effect. It's also kind of the other video that I've done. It's a little bit differently though. Um, and I think this effect looks a lot cooler in my opinion. Um, but if you guys want to use the last video that I did, a freeze frame effect, it's a glowing freeze frame effect. You guys can apply that glowing effect to this video. But anyways, as you see here, we got some really cool effects here. Now all of these, uh, all of this, this whole movement here, the camera shake and all that stuff is actually done in post. So what they've done is they just sat a tripod and then they have, you know, they had Devon just move around and then they masked him out and I'll show you what to do from there. All right guys, so jumping into Final Cut Pro 10, this is the effect that I've done here. And if you guys want to watch this music video, I'm going to mute the audio. If you guys want to watch the official music video for this, it's really cool. It's genius. I'll link it down in the description, but I'm only using that music video for the sake of this tutorial. So I'm going to push play. I'm going to make this full screen because I never full screen my videos. So I'm going to push play and you're going to see how he stands up and you can see how he fits in. Uh, in the frame there as it plays throughout. I'm gonna be using this one here. It's called uh, Sam, well, it's called Broke by Sam Henshaw. And I'll link this in the description if you guys wanna watch it. But I'm, I'm only gonna use the last clip here. Here we go. So I'm gonna push play so you guys can see a before. So this is just a still shot. It's a tripod, he's moving around. Normally it looks better if you're not in the same place. If you're moving you know, constantly throughout the video looks a lot better, but make sure that the tripod doesn't move. If there's movement, it's gonna be a lot harder and you're gonna to have to motion track that. So that's why doing it like this is so much better. So what you guys wanna do is you want to find a place where you want the freeze frame to start. So let's say I want his body to kind of go up from here. I can do that, but I'm gonna go, uh, let's see, I'm gonna go here, no, here. And I'm gonna go to edit. At the top, I'm going to go to add freeze frame and I'm going to drag this here which is now a screen grab or a screenshot of the uh, wherever our playhead was at in the timeline. I'm going to drag that all the way to the left as you can see here. So we're going to go into the effects, we're going to go to masks and we're going to go to the draw mask. So drag that onto that clip directly and uh, nothing has happened of course but we're going to have to zoom in here quite a bit maybe 150% or more. So I'm going to do 200% for the sake of the video so you guys can see a little bit more. From here, what you want to do is you want to make a selection. The better the selection, the better this is gonna look, guys. So if you do just like, you know, triangles and everything, it's gonna overlap and you will be able to see that. So make sure that the mask is top notch. Make a selection here. I'm just gonna do something like this. And here. <laughs> yeah, I might wanna move this one though. Um, so once you guys finish this, it's going to look like this, and you might have some of this red part here. It's, it's fine. No one's really going to notice from far away, especially from here. So once you guys are done with that, go to the inspector window. I want to go to the feather, and it's better if you click off of it because with the, with the stroke of the lines and the draw mask, it's going to be hard to see. So go and click off of it and then go back to feather, and you can feather this uh, outwards or inwards. Yeah, to me it's perfect. I'm just gonna leave it how it is But in case you want to smooth it out so it looks a little bit more, more natural Then you can do that. I would do that if it, if he was alone like right here That's when I would create a feather and I'll show you guys that in just a second So now that we've done this this is too long. So we're gonna drag this right here. So now if I push play He's gonna jump just like that. He's gonna pretty much jump straight into that freeze frame. So from here I'm also going to leave one around here, no, here. So then I'm going to go to edits. Again, I'm going to go to add freeze frame, wherever the time head was at. I'm then going to select the clip and I'm going to drag this all the way to the top, to the beginning of the video. If you want the, if you want him to be shown throughout the beginning part, if you don't, you don't have to, I think it looks a lot better. And I think that's mean the main part of this effect anyways. So. We're gonna drag another draw mask directly onto that clip again. We're gonna go to draw mask and we're gonna select him again. So we're gonna click here. I'm going to go to 150% and go ahead and select him again. And there, and I'm gonna right
right click and do smooth so it makes it look like it's a foot <laughs> and then I'm gonna go back to fit so now if I click off of it you can see that we can feather this out so now if we go back drag this below here to where the end so where we started the freeze frame that's where you want it to end so it goes so he jumps directly into that freeze frame so now if I push play you're gonna notice that he stands up and then he goes there and voila once you've done that you want to press command a option G and I'm just gonna name this group now we have this stable shot on a tripod if I push play full screen this is without the movement so now we're gonna add some fake post production movement and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into stylize and in stylize we're gonna go to handheld and drag that directly onto the clip so now you can see that there's some fake movement going on and it makes it look a lot better it makes it complete so it's not kind of boring if that makes sense. So now if I push play, you're gonna see that it looks a lot better and it looks like it's been motion tracked when it really hasn't. And so that's how Devon Terrell created this effect here. Uh, whereas the beginning though, if I go back here, all he did was he zoomed in a lot into the video here using a couple of uh, keyframes in the transform tool. All you gotta do from here is just add your music and you're good to go. So. If you guys found this video helpful in any way, be sure to smash the like button, comment down below. Also, make sure you guys click the bell notification so you guys don't miss out on a video like this. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out, guys.